New at 10, a caregiver is charged with sexual assault, accused of abusing a woman in his care. Court paperwork, uh, court paperwork indicate that he has done it before. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us now with the disturbing details, which may be tough for some of you to hear. Rachel? Guys, investigators say the caregiver forced the woman to perform oral sex on him in her own bathroom. But these stories are heartbreaking. AARP State Director Dana Kennedy disgusted with the details. Court documents indicating Nikolai Horga assaulted the 87-year-old dementia patient at an unnamed Phoenix care facility last Friday. Another nurse catching the awful act. Paperwork noting Horga thrust his hips in the woman's face. This was the time that they were caught. And so that's why we need to make sure that we, you know, look at more legislation. Kennedy, along with other advocates for Arizona's most vulnerable, pushing for more protections for patients of assault and sexual abuse. There's some legislation where you can actually put cameras in and families can be able to monitor what's happening inside these facilities. This isn't the first gruesome case of sexual assault at an Arizona care facility. The case of Hacienda, where the woman was raped repeatedly, um, and the evidence was her baby. She actually delivered full term a baby. Since that case, dating back to 2018, Governor Ducey forming a vulnerable adult task force to keep these crimes from happening. However, the pandemic has posed problems. This past year is basically residents have been locked in, families have been locked out. Now, though, new guidelines are making it mandatory for family members to be allowed back into care facilities, no question. Families are able to see their loved ones. They cannot be denied access to their loved one. Even though that may help ease the minds of some, it doesn't change the damage done in this case. Horga is charged with sexual assault and has to follow strict release conditions. He's due back in court later this week. Rachel Cole, 12 News.